What do you know about anodizing? What is the anodine? In this presentation, we will present about the practicum of anodizing and staining aluminum metal. I am Edewa Putu Bandu Antar Sparta, and my partner is David Pr Pramastio. We will present anodizing and staining of aluminum metal. The objective of this practicum is uh, one, study the anodizing process of aluminum metal using the acid solution as an uh, alternative. Determ to determine the effect of anodizing time on the efficiency of the use of electrical energy used during the anodizing process. Three, studying the coloring process of the anodizing aluminum metal with metal bits. The next is theoretical study. The anodizing is a process of passive electrolysis of the metal in uh, acid solution which serves to increase the thickness and density of the oxidation layer on the metal surface. This process cannot be carried, carried out on steel carbon because the continuous removal of rust and the debris encourage the new metal to corrode. In some other metal, the anodizing process results in increased corrosion and resistance of the metal surface and provide a stronger addition to the D on the metal surface. Aluminum metal is placed, placed in a electrolyte. Sulfuric acid is low in concentration and the electro electric current flow through it. The aluminum part is connected to the anodized side positive, and the negative part is connected to the lead, which function as the cathode. Example: This process is uh, electrolysis that causes the aluminum, which is the uh, at the anodite to be oxidized. Similar to the even of rust formation in iron, the result of this aluminum oxidation is the formation of the layer of a layer that can put at protect protects the metal. It's very hard, has resistance to corrosion. The average the that occurred is a film that looks like a honeycomb and has a tube growing from aluminum. The film layer in the anodizing process of um, aluminum metal also incurring the formation of pores from aluminum oxide, which has an impact of the hardness of the surface of aluminum metal. Anodizing process. Aluminum cannot be anodized and stained without the cremation. Mechanical and chemical treatments need to be carried out to determine the final operation of the aluminum surface. This happens because the optical properties of aluminum are not more difficult by coating and transparent anodized or by staining. Uh, treatment stage uh, have six treatment. It, number one is degrading. Number two, desmuting. Next is anodizing. Next is coloring. Five, sealing. And the last is rinse. So this is the anodized process diagram. There is a power supply, a meter, ampere meter, volt meter, and there is anode, the positive pole, and cathode for the minus pole. And then in the in the positive pole we have aluminium, and in the negative pole we have carbon. Anodizing conditions widely used in industrial process: um, sulfuric acid solution around 165 until 325 gram per liters, and aluminium 5 until 15 gram per liters. 
current density 1.2 until 1.5 and then for the voltage um, 17 until 30 volt and then process temperature 18 until 33 degrees celsius and standardizing time we can do it in 25 until 40 minutes the advantage of anodizing methods um first is the real 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 reliability and then second one color stability aesthetic cost and health and safety for the cost it's um, maybe so cheap and then for the aesthetic um, from anodizing we can get um, the best color uh, we hope and then the anodizing process can usually be found in object in everyday life um, example like in the name card and then basic components like for the um, coloring the saddle and then coloring the the frame we can use anodizing and then tools and materials for the tools we have anodizing equipment set drying oven digital scales microscope camera metal aluminum series and digital thermometer and for the ingredients sulfuric acid phosphoric acid and then anodized dye aluminum metal plate and any aluminum metal rod type and then we have an alpha 1m So this is the process from for the anodizing process. First, aluminum anodizing process. First one, aluminum metal mechanical treatment, and then second, cleaning and degreasing. We can um, pour pour water in it, and then we um, scrub it for the cleaning process. And then dismuting is the process of removing scale and oxides on the surface of aluminum metal. The fourth, anodizing is the process of growing pores in the form of a tube or dead end pipe. On the surface of aluminum metal using an acid solution and flow of electric current. Fifth, anodizing is the process. Oh, sorry. Um, and the last is coloring. B, anodizing aluminum metal coloring and sealing process. First, clean the anodizing aluminum metal with clean water, not distilled water, and then prepare a dye solution by dissolving 5 grams of anodizing dye in 250 milliliters of distilled water in a measuring flask, and then shake the dye solution until homogeneous. Pour the dye solution into a 500 milliliter beaker, mm, we mean bigger glass, and then put the anodizing aluminum metal after one minute and wash thoroughly with clean water until the dye is not, no longer soluble with water. Because if the um, dye is soluble with water, it will vanish. Observing the staining results of the AL metal by touching the stained aluminum metal, photographing the appearance of the resulting color and measuring the level of luster of the Aluminum metal using a glossy matter, and then put the colored aluminum metal in boiling water for three minutes. Observe the color change of aluminum metal that occurs in the same way as in point seven, and then record the phenomena you observe in the internal report of the practical or the experiment. Then the last step: determine determine of the efficiency of the use electrical energy during the anodizing process. First, using a thermometer to measure the temperature of the electrolyte solution before and after anodizing the aluminum metal at each variation of the electric current in anodizing. And then calculate the electrical energy used to be the equation like this. And then calculate the amount of energy released during the anodizing process using the thermodynamic law equation. Calculate the energy efficiency used during the anodizing process in each time variation. For the conclusion, anodizing is the process of making an oxide layer on a metal surface to increase its resistance to corrosion and coating the metal with dye by sticking and being absorbed by the resulting nanotubes. Anodizing using the principle of electrolysis with aluminum as the anode and PB metal as the cathode and sulfuric acid as the electrolyte medium. The oxidation of aluminum will form a porous oxide layer or aluminum oxide. The longer the anodizing time, the better the results. But um, we have an optimum time for the longer anodizing time. However, time also affects the efficiency of the process. If the increasing time can increase the Al2O3 resistance value because more and more Aluminum oxide layers are formed. With the current variation, the efficiency at 2 ampere current is minus 58.7784% and minus 1.19675% at 4 ampere current. Error in this calculation can be caused by a solution that is considered to dilute and water properties are used. Thanks for the Thanks, and that's all from my, from my, and that's all from my group. And thanks for watching. Do you have any questions? If you have any questions, you can 
Chatmi or Chat Thank you.